Today we're gonna see how many cars we can get running that have been abandoned on this farm. For the first time in like two and a half or three years, it's time for a lightning round. All right, so the rules for today's games are simple. We've got a couple booster packs that are mostly dead, <laughs> like a gallon of gas, an electric fuel pump, a pliers, a screwdriver, and about an hour. And this, ambition. And <laughs> some ambition. And in that hour with that ambition, we're gonna see how many of these cars we can get running. They don't have to drive, they don't have to move around. We just wanna see if they'll sit there and idle or see if they've checked out on life. So without further ado, let's get into it. It is exactly 140. I say we give about five to eight minutes per car. Ready, go. Angus chooses the 54 right off the bat. What do we got here, sir? We have keys. This is a 54 Chevy. It's it used to be a grain truck. It's got a tilting flatbed. You'll see a lot of these ton and a half, two ton trucks. 64. Is this a stove bolt? It you should think? be a stove bolt six. Either a 235 or it's a 261. Hey, it's a stove bolt. Ta-da. Supposedly this ran a few years ago or something, and supposedly the fuel tank is bad, and supposedly the brakes kind of worked last it was all moved. So uh, the belt no longer works, <laughs> but does it spin? <laughs> the alternator spins. <laughs> uh, batteries are under the the floor, floor pan on they? this side, aren't they? We used to have one of these back in the day. Back in the good old days, back when you were more likable. Wow! Wow! I meant when I was like. 10 but whatever let's get our batteries hooked up and get our fuel system hooked up and see if she'll come to life let's... is this what seats were made out of <laughs> yeah holy shit that's just grass all right prepare for calamity we've calamitized okay oh the fuel gauge works so that's if you know so anything good. about these 50 chevys that down there is the starter it is a mechanical starter that literally Closes a contact on the back of the starter, which I can't show you because it's under the truck. Dang it, sorry. Go ahead, sir. Let's see if she spins. Are you in neutral? Uh, yes. Hey, is the throttle stuck wide open or is that pedal just on the floor? The pedal's on the floor. Um, the oh, it's not. The pedal's not even connected. Nope. So if this goes down, that would be... Okay, it's at idle. We're safe. All right, go ahead. Uh, sounds like points. Yeah, there we, there we go. Oh yeah, those are corroded. Bring those together a couple times. Try to snap them clean. Bonus points if you can wipe them off with your finger. Get all the dust off. Shooters. Oh wow, that's how the vacuum advance works. Yeah, but it's a whole. It moves the whole distributor. Wow. I mean, that's the same principle, I guess. All right, try her again. One more. That's a no. Ooh, you got a little wasp friend there, huh? I wouldn't call us friends. <laughs> Either we don't have enough voltage out of that booster pack or we're not getting sparked because the points are so dirty. And If we got power left over, let's come back to this one because we're a little low on booster pack battery and we got a few more cars to do. Yep. Big brain move. Let one of these charge so we can come back to that. Hey! All right, good luck. That one next? Oh, it's right there. Let's do it. What have we here, Angus? Uh, looks like a 70, 78 or 9 square body tow truck. So this would be a... Oh, it's a K30. So this is a four-wheel drive tow truck. Ooh. I, I talked to the guy about this earlier, and he was like, oh, yeah, I started my business with this tow truck. He ran it for 20 years, and this was his main light-duty wrecker. Um, but Minnesota winners have gotten to the uh, everything, and it won't pass the U.S. administration anymore. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, she gone. Oh, it's a manual, dude. He said the clutch is too weak and it just slips like crazy. So, Ooh. makes for a really bad tow truck. He's got the lid flip. Yeah! Gotta let this down. Oh! Hey! <laughs> the lights work. Oh, it's a circle, boys. Oh, dude. Can you get me one of them? Well, let's figure out how to crank it because I can already tell you there's a. There's some custom work that's been done here. Is this power? Hey, there we go. I bet he uses the original rod. Mm, battery. 
Heck. Put it right on that permanent pliers. What's clicking? Is that the starter? I think so. Okay. Nope. Nope. Big wow. sad. We're not doing great. At least the other one, like, you know, cranked. Eh? Yeah? Those are failures, Kevin. <laughs> I don't think a jump pack's gonna do us any good on those. Oh, I see something over there. We haven't been out here, we just know there's stuff out here. Three front end. Yeah, it's a Fury 3 front clip. Let's start with that one. <laughs> I don't think a booster oh. pack's going to do us any good on that, Angus. Ooh, Ooh I know dude. It will. A race car right here. Flat tires and everything. It's got traction for days. Let's begin. <laughs> hey, wait, is that the rest of the Fury 3 over here? Dude. This thing's got a working battery. And the key's in it. And there's a full bottle of Everclear in the back seat. one for every two that are nothing happens one fires right up with its own battery next oh buick the fuel injected stuff is easy it either goes or the fuel pump doesn't work and it doesn't hey so fun fact we're walking exclusively through stinging metal there's a mopar motor right there so that was all the fury three. Oh, so that's like a 318 what are you doing over there oh dude i didn't even see this what the heck is that there's a whole car right here this is a ford ltd what Sure. You can go with yes. Yeah. Uh. Been here a while. It's not in horrible shape. It's actually pretty damn good shape. It's a four door, obviously. Check and see if the uh, old owners are still in there. <laughs> oh, something's living in here. I'll tell you that much. Ew. Let's take a look at this LTD. Final top. Really not in awful shape. Get a little rust hole there. Coming inside. Yeah, we something's been here. What's that blue thing? Oh shit! There's two more, two cars, more cars, cars back here. You, you wouldn't believe this, Angus. There's two more LTDs. Oh shit! <laughs> so actually, I have a little backstory on why there's two LTDs. Uh, this guy's first car, I think, was a uh, Ford LTD blue, like that one. So the parts, parts, parts cars. You think? Maybe you just really like them. <laughs> Let's get the booster pack and see which one of these comes alive, eh? I'm gonna bet this one. All right. Um, go. Yep. That's a car. I'm gonna guess a 3800. 3100. Oh. Oh. All right. There's a hood prop for you. Thanks. I should check for keys first. Okay, we're good. Ready? Yep. second so this thing definitely was not off the road for long and uh the tabs are updated for 23 oh <laughs> so shocker hell of a revival i don't know how it started folks but you saw it here first a real miracle out here in the woods today ltd time ltd time this will be the real miracle out here in the woods today what year is this thing do we know 27 it's greater than a one 351 windsor that's the best option I never even considered. And we have a uh, little chunk of rubber hose so we can hook our fuel pump up to it. What do you say, sir? Uh, let's yes. Let's, let's yes. All right, let's make sure we got fuel here. All right. Damn, our floats even worked. Maybe. Nope, no they don't. <laughs> Now they did. All right. Who wants to be the one to crawl inside and hit the go button? You said it. Okay. <laughs> it is I. Go button, man. I'll 
turns over. Is this Durspark or is this points? Uh, I don't I see a box. Oh, it's Durspark. That's well, registered in 06. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it might be flooded because we just, we just oh, ran the floats. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That, I'm sure, combined with the fact that it's turning over the speed of smell, means that she ain't going to clear out anytime soon. Now oh, they're both connected. Yay. Ready. Oh, it's sad now. I don't even know. Okay, so this was actually really unique and I can't say I've ever seen this before. Watch the alternator pulley. Right here, the engine stalls, pauses for a second, and then runs backwards. It actually ends up doing this a few times. Jesus, like runs backwards or something. I see an issue. It's only going when I hit the key. Mm -hmm. One time it like tried to run a little bit off the key. Yeah. Like off start and it was just it just it was the backwards thing. I don't know what that was about. It was like blowing it's like it has a bunch of stuck valves, which is entirely possible. It sounded like it was spinning healthy. I think it's a, a wiring issue. Mm. The mice probably got something. Who knows? All right, we spent way too much time on this one. Next one. <laughs> backwards? Literal other LTDs. You know what? The blue one's a lot more accessible. Yep. Wait, hang on. Oh no. Let's not try this. All right. That was easy enough. And this one won't start. Got it. So far, only the fuel injected cars have started, which is yeah. not great <laughs> for our show. Nope, not looking good for the home team. Red LTD part two. Pink LTD. Alright, ready? Sure. Oh, it's not loving that. Well, there's a motor under there. That's too bad. Let's see if we can do the old wiggle and pull and get this to lift without kinking. You know the hood was made of metal? Didn't know that. Thought it was made of woodland leftovers. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab on the back, front. We're gonna go your way, my way, and up. Oh, that's a no. Any more will damage the hood. This one has a 351 or a 400 in it. Well, does the door open? And is there keys? Oops. Oh, dude, the interior on this one's cherry. Like, damn. <laughs> Drive this one home. <laughs> How many miles has it got on it? I would believe that's absolutely 36,000, not 136,000, especially with how many little ribs are still on that pedal. 06. Let's get our stuff hooked up and see if she comes back to life. All right, batteries are hooked up, fuel system's hooked up. Oh, there's an alternator light. I've got no crank. Give the booster packs a wiggle. Dude. <laughs> I got nothing. Hang on. Let me try for neutral or a neutral light. Nothing, dude. I don't even have any radio stations. Damn it. We're at zero for four on carbureted vehicles. Well, it's the lightning round, which means the rules are, if you don't go, you move on. What a cherry interior though. All right, good luck out here, old girl. Hopefully someone comes and rescues you before the mice get the rest of you. It is now 2.47, our one hour is up. Bonus hour, here we go. Ah! <laughs>
Throw that in your shopping cart there. I say we go to that Ford Fairmont, I think. How do we even get there? Oh, dude, there's more over there. Something, something yellow. yellow. To the yellow. <laughs> Let's make that one run. There's no way we can get the hood of that flatbed, is there? Oh. I wouldn't. <laughs> Look at that spider. Look at him. He's thick. It's a thick boy. Jesus. And here I was about to you? walk through there. You about, you about died. Uh. I'm going to go on a limb and say the flatbed that's on the scrap pile, which is in better condition than the flatbed that still was recently used. The one that... The... <laughs> Cricket, sorry. <laughs> Hit me right in the crotch. <laughs> Anyway, the green 54 was still like kind of used recently and this yeah. one wasn't, which means this one's probably blown up or something. Yeah, this takes more than five minutes to get a car from on top of a, a truck with a crush cap. So it looks like a no. The van? Definitely a woman who owned this van. She's got keys. Oh, they left the key on, the battery's dead. Silly gooses. Bastard. How could they neglect such a nice van? Me as an adult, I've never sat in one of these. This thing's comfortable. Why do you think people buy them? I had no idea until right now. I bet it'd be fun as hell to have a bunch of these in a race in the cornfield. I'm sure. The Who's Windstar guessing? 100. <laughs> Who knows? All right, that stuff. Oh, hey, that's a 3400, like Grand Prix motor. That'll, that'll run. Is this a two-door van? It is. Let me in, goddammit. Ow! This is metal five foot high. This thing better start. Ugh. So what you're saying is, it's locked. <laughs> there is one option that I've been avoiding. The hole in the side of it. Oh man, that was a nice window. Oh, thank God. They put the key on the steering wheel. So I think that is a fuel line. This, that, sure is. and it was just going. The so. mice ate it. Look at that. I ate the top right off of it. All right, on to the next one. Whee. All right, Angus, I see three more cars we have easy access to. A van, an exploder, and that Fairmont looking thing. All right, I got keys. Sick. Hang on, the keys might not turn. Ugh. Ignition cylinder's stuck. Nice. Oh, this thing's really nice inside. It's leather. Oh, got it. So it needs a whole battery. There are beer cans in literally every car. Boop. Ooh, revival in 2035 when this is all that's left. <laughs> I was expecting rev limiter like you know what the all the other motors out here have done straight to valve float <laughs> sorry if you still wanted this one Eric so as we mentioned earlier Eric the guy who owns the land here has a local towing company and any scrap cars they get that still run and drive they'll stick in the woods to have a little fun with on Friday nights which is exactly why most of these have not been sitting long and fired right up today also why you shouldn't give us any grief in the comments because all of these EFI cars are destined for the scrapper already 12,000 miles. I can already feel how bad the suspension was just moving. It was like, Whoa! all right, Angus, our last shot. Besides the Eagle, the thing we came here for. Our last shot at getting a carburetor car run. This is a, it's a Fairmont body, but it's not a Ford. A Z7, it's a Mercury. Okay, so this is a Ford Fairmont Futura. It's got the slanted back. This is the Durango as a Mercury and you know, not made into a truck. I wonder if it has a 302 or if it's an inline six. Dude, it's got some cool pinstriping down it and check out the loopers. It's a uh, captain's chair car, not a bench car. 
I bet this would be a very interesting car. I, I love the color and the silver pinstripe. Oh, inline six 200. The good news is it'll probably run as long as the uh, water pump doesn't go out, you know? Well, let's uh, let's just start with a little brake clean. Start, start small this time, you know? We've been going all out, maybe that's our problem. Brake clean, ready. Kevin, you got any power in there? I do. Oh, dude. download the free iHeartRadio app. The radio finally works. We might have a shot for the first time. Ready? Uh, yeah, let me hit her with some. Try it. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Yeah, the horn doesn't even work. Oh, junk. Dude, this has been a horrible run. I'm not ready to admit defeat on all the carbureted cars yet. Let's go back to that 54 and see if we get a tap spark. Do we know for sure this motor isn't seized? Nah, I don't know at all, actually. Do do do. Yeah. Oh, it might be. I mean, I, I don't want to go out on a limb and make acquisitions or guesses, but I bet the water pump went out, they ran it hot, and it seized. Funny enough, guess where the water level in the radiator stops? Uh, water pump. <laughs> Hmm. Right level with the, the seal on the back of the water pump. Damn you, 200 inline sixes. It would have been a really neat car though. I love the colors. I love the silver. I love the louvers, the Mercury Z7. Never even seen one of these before. All right, to that truck, both booster packs. I'll even get some sandpaper on those points. We're committed. Let's make something with a carburetor run before we leave. All right, back where we started. Still hoping for success on a carbureted car. Our reputation is at stake. Or steak is at reputation. That's a big fly. <laughs> Angus has got the double booster pack on Tondra going there. I'm going to check for spark up here. I've sanded the points a little bit with some sandpaper. Um, sure. I don't know. Not a lot to go here for for uh, for checking. How about the body of the shoe I'm going to get the shit shocked out of me. For science. All right. Go ahead, sir. All right. All right. We got spark. I'm hoping that's that was not the case before and that's a new development. <laughs> Plug this guy in. Our rotor's still installed. I check that. Let's see if we can reboot these plugs. Okay. Go for it. Come on. You got both booster packs hooked up well enough? Yeah, they're kind of sparking up. I was going to say, it sounds like one's dying out on you. Alright, I gave you a little throttle. Try that. <laughs> Woo, there it went. Okay. Both well, batteries nice. were hooked up that time. Woo, boy. Alright, try that again. <laughs> Carbureted motor to run. Jay, I'm leaving this cab. <laughs> <laughs> a few bugs in there. There's a few bugs. I'm scared. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. In a roundabout way, we ended up where we started, but finally got at least one of the carbureted vehicles to run. Usually, it's completely the other way around. All the uh, fuel pumps are junk, and all the carbureted stuff can be nursed back to life. But I think the case here is the carbureted stuff out here has been sitting for a long time and the fuel injected stuff is on a constant rotation getting scrapped so they haven't been off the road very long hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please consider subscribing here to the channel leave a like and a comment below and share the video thank you guys very much for watching we will see you next week for a full episode of junkyard digs peace eagles e eagles peagles Ew. now we get to go scrub pee out of your eagle Oh, the timeline is so messed up. I'm going back to the woods. I don't want to get in that thing. That thing stinks. Right, so that's